All right, guys, welcome back to the vlog. Rye Phipps here. You guys loved the last 25th anniversary Countach video and asked for this one. So this guy, 1988 and a half, Lamborghini 5000, Quattro Valve. I think that's how you pronounce it, but uh, it's QV to us in North America because we don't speak Italian here. But this guy, it's uh, four valves per cylinder. It's a 5.2 liter V12, making the same horsepower as the 25th anniversary. So about four, 450 horsepower, 370 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, pretty much it's almost the same car as the 25th, but this car weighs 220 pounds less than the 25th anniversary Countach. So it should be a tiny bit faster because I have modified it. So it is a little bit quicker. What did I do to it? Um, well, first of all, let me tell you the story about how I bought this car, because it's kind of cool. So this car ended up online for sale and it was a, a doctor that owned it and his wife wasn't doing very good. He was an older gentleman, so he wanted to get rid of the car. The problem was the car was in Calgary at a dealership for sale. The engine and transmission was at Lamborghini Toronto getting rebuilt. So the car was in a bit of, it, it was all across Canada. So nobody wanted to buy the car because it was a bit of a project car. So I ended up pitching him on, I'll buy the car, I'll take over the bills to rebuild the motor and all that stuff. And I got it for a song and dance. So I was pretty happy, but it took a long time to get the car finished. So I had my buddy Zahir Rana at Zetter Auto in Calgary. He ended up uh, taking on the project for me. He got the engine and transmission built, and then we decided to snowball and fix everything on the car. So mechanically, the car is brand new. Zahir went through it with a fine tooth comb and replaced anything that needed to be done, all the gaskets, all the hoses, uh, rebuilt the water pump, uh, new clutch in it, uh, redid the interior, so the interior is brand new. I bought it with 18,000 kilometers. I wanted it to be a daily driver. Uh, I wrapped it baby blue. I put power steering in it, so easy power steering. I, could, I have a little dial that you can control, uh, make it so it's really uh, strong steering or make it so it's super light for when you're going through uh, the parking lot at the grocery store. But I wanted it to be the daily driver. I added on Quicksilver exhaust and headers, so it's uh, much, much louder than a stock Countach. Originally, as I said, it had a uh, blue wrap on it and that blue wrap, I ended up doing donuts in that car and it, uh, it went viral and that's actually kind of how my Instagram became famous, quasi famous in that whole car world thing. But uh, I ended up doing a donut video and I made my Instagram not private on my birthday. And on my birthday, I watched this donut video hit 100,000 views in less than an hour. And I think I hit 10,000 followers like right away. It was insane, like absolutely insane. So that donut video. <laughs> DDE actually reached out to me. That's how they originally saw um, me on Instagram. It really, it wasn't Dave DMing my girlfriend, little model page. It wasn't that, not at all. No, it was, it, that's what she says, but I say it was the donut video. But anyways, the donut video made uh, Daily Driven Exotics uh, kind of see me. And then that's how they ended up coming up to Kelowna come and see in the stable of Lamborghini Cologne and seeing all the cars and me getting in some of their videos. So I give all the credit uh, for us starting a YouTube channel because of them, because we saw how much fun it was to show the cars off to you guys and all the questions you guys have. And the young generation, you guys don't see these cars anymore. You really don't see them driving around. So that's my passion of being able to show you guys uh, these cars. So I'm glad you guys are watching. The wrap has now been taken off and I got uh, the wheels as you can see, I powder coated them gold so it's kind of that 80s theme. Everybody loves uh, a black Countach, gold chains, gold wheels 
it was the cool look back in the 80s. So that's what this car looks like now. So I found this really, really odd. There is sun visors in this car. So here they are right here. But uh, it's got a detachable mirror. And here it is right here, detachable mirror. Uh, I guess this was the 80s, so why would they have a detachable mirror? I just, I'm just, I just don't really know. I don't get it. Like, I don't know. Maybe you guys know, comment below why you think it's got a detachable mirror. So to get this car into the US market, they decided to add fuel injection. So this has the Bosch K-Jetronic fuel injection added to it, and it makes it so it's more reliable. It's just turn the key, start it, and the car goes. So about 610 uh, quattro valve Countach's were made. So this was a very desirable car. Upgraded air conditioning, like the anniversary car. It's got side skirts. That's what the 88 and a half is. 88 and a half is this half model year. They got these upgrades that the earlier uh, quattro valves did not have, which just made the car that much easier to drive and that much more enjoyable. So Horacio Pagani was working with carbon fiber and Kevlar and this Quattro valve was the first Lamborghini to get uh, a, a carbon Kevlar panel. And so the engine deck lid, because of the shape of it, they uh, made, made the deck lid out of carbon and Kevlar. So it's pretty cool that this was the evolution or the start of the, the new style of where Lamborghini was going to create a car with lightweight that could have really amazing styling. So this car got that panel and same with the Lamborghini LM002. It, it, they were the two, first two Lambos that got carbon Kevlar panels. Most Quattro valves came with US bumpers to the North American market and, and this car included. So this car had um, a giant rubber mustache bumper and then the rear bumper was like these four little appendages that stuck out the back end of the car. And it was not sexy at all. It ruined the look of the Countach. So one of the first things that I did when it was at ZR Auto is I told Zaheer, I said, I want this car to have Euro bumpers. So he, uh, he added the Euro look to it. So it's now got a sleek front bumper and it's got the Euro uh, tail lights and Euro, well, really bumper delete on it. And it looks so much better. The exhaust system, uh, you can see all the exhaust uh, mufflers below and the pipes sticking out more. It's just way prettier. This is the way that the Countach was originally designed. This is the way that it should have been for the North American market. All right, so this car is so quirky. It's got lots of interesting, weird things about it. So one of the things that I added to the car is actually this right here. So I told you it's got easy power steering. So this is actually my little dial right here. So you can adjust it and then that changes how heavy the steering is. So that's on the heaviest setting, which you can't even do if you don't have power steering because it just locks. And then this is the lightest setting. So it makes a world of a difference when you're in a parking lot. So that's pretty neat. Um, Another cool thing that this thing's got is it's got a tiny, tiny little glove box, but it does have a glove box. So this is it right here. You need to push in this button and then you can pull forward and there's your glove box. And I've got my rear or my sun visors. I've got uh, my trusty hammer right here. So if you accidentally roll the car over and you can't get out because the doors go up, you can uh, smash the windshield, I guess, and uh, crawl out. <laughs> I don't know, I hope that doesn't happen, but anyways, I am prepared. See mom, safety first right there. Uh, that's about it, that's everything in the glove box because nothing else fits. We got the windows right here. So this car does not have, our, have power windows like the 25th anniversary car. So this one, you have to manually wind the windows up and down and just watch how much it uh, goes up and down. That's it. Three fingers, that's it. That's as much as it goes up and down. Not much, but at least it does. When this car was brand spanking new, it was $100,000 US. And you could get two options for the car. You could get a $7,500 stereo system, and you could get a $5,500 rear wing that slowed you down. I am both.
All right, guys, so that's a wrap. The 1988 half Countach video is all wrapped up, and I hope you liked it. I hope it was just as good as the white Countach video. Uh, comment below, let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, I know a lot of you guys have asked about the, the behind the scenes, how do we film these videos and whatnot. So I'm going to let Donovan take it over and give you guys a small glimpse of what we do to be able to produce one of these videos. So here it is. All right guys, so as Ryan said, lots of you guys have been messaging us asking us how we go about shooting these videos. And so I'm going to explain to you guys some of the gear we use in our videos and how we go about editing them and all that boring stuff. So to start off, we have two cameras. Ryan's using one right now and both cameras are Sony's. Uh, one is an A7R Mark III, and this one here is an A6300. So this one here, for example, is not very expensive. I think you can get them for like a thousand bucks now. Um, it's just about how you guys go about shooting your stuff and the content you're actually filming. It's not about the gear you use. So that's one thing a lot of people expect out of that question is that you need top of the line gear to get top of the line videos and you don't. But by far the most useful piece of equipment we have are our gimbals. So we have two Fayutech gimbals, one's an AK2000 and this one's the AK4500 which is their newest flagship gimbal and it's just a game changer. So it allows us to get that really nice stable footage for our rolling shots, walking shots, anything with movement because shaky footage looks terrible. You can't get around that and trying to fix it in post is just a nightmare. So definitely invest in a gimbal or a glide cam or something to help stabilize your guys' footage. And that alone will make a huge difference in your guys' videos. But at the end of the day, getting out there and actually shooting is the most beneficial thing you can do, is just practice every single day. All right guys, so wrapping up our process on how we create these videos, after we're done shooting it out in the field, we all know that editing is arguably about 70% of making these videos come to life. So now I'm gonna tell you guys what we use to edit our videos because that's the second most common question after what camera we use. So yes, we use the Adobe Suite, uh, meaning that we edit our videos in Adobe Premiere. Um, it's a great program, it's easy to use. I tried other programs like Final Cut and DaVinci Resolve, but at the end of the day, Adobe can keep taking my money because it's just the most easy to use for me and it gets videos out for you guys. So the computer I use to edit these videos, I built a PC um, with a good processor and graphics card because although I have a $2,000 MacBook Pro, it just can't quite handle the rendering of, you know, hours of 4K footage to create a 10, 15 minute long video like this. So I ended up building a PC that's just designated to editing video and that was game changing just in my render times and export times and such. So that is how we go about filming, editing, exporting, and making these videos happen for you guys on YouTube. I hope this helps you guys and answers some of your questions about the behind the scenes that you guys don't see much of. Uh, and by all means, if you have any more questions at all, don't be shy, hit us up in the comments, send us a DM. We're always happy to help and share any knowledge we can. And we hope you guys like the content. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well because when we hit 10,000 subscribers, one of you guys at random is gonna be going for a ride of a lifetime. And oh, I can't wait, don't wanna miss it. So be sure to share the channel with your friends and thank you so much for watching guys. See you in the next video.